wouldn't be surprised to see something there. But the amount of time that we have been talking about hurricane season, about the, in some instances, about the same time we're talking about wildfire season. And, and here's what I mean by that. Look at the, all the names that we've had so far this year. Look, really look how things started taking off in mid-August or so. Then September just went absolutely gangbusters. But think about the middle of August when we started getting names like Josephine and then Kyle. Do you ever remember that? It seemed like it was so long ago, right? That's actually, if you think about the timeline, when the August fire began in California, still going. It's 75% contained, but it's still going, and it's been burned over a million acres. Uh, we have had 16 named storms since this fire got named. Isn't that something? Uh, and you look at the four of the five largest fires in California history all happening this year. Truly stunning uh, by all measures what's happening in the West for us this year. 74 large fires burning across the West, accumulating nearly 4.2 million acres. And with the uh, winds becoming more of a factor this week, we think there's more opportunity for wildfire spread. A lot of red flag warnings, especially Colorado, Wyoming, and the Plains this week. And then we're going to really start to see the winds ramp up by the middle of the week back across California and the uh, West Coast states as well and all those big fires that are burning in california are in northern california so when the diablo winds kick back in uh later this week it's not going to be good the humidity is detrimental unfortunately a little bit of moisture for the pacific northwest but overall here alex the trend as you can see is very brown on this map with very low humidities which doesn't help matters at all yeah we're 